CK1 by Calvin Klein. I love this fragrance. I really do. Alberto Morales and Harry Fremont composed this fragrance. This come out in 1994, and this thing blew up in the mid-90s and late-90s. This thing was so popular. Everybody had this. Everybody wore it. And for good reason. I think it's just a beautiful fragrance. Um, this has citruses, florals, tropical fruits, spices, woods. It has everything. Um, it has a sweetness. It's, it's really mild and a light sweetness that's from the very opening all the way to the end of the dry down. And it smells really natural to me. The sweetness in this is perfect. Um, I think Alberto Morales and Harry Fremont composed this just for me because I'm getting ready to tell you about the notes and some of these notes are my favorite notes of all time ever. As far as citruses, it's lemon, bergamot, mandarin, orange. Spices is cardamom, nutmeg. Floral is, oh, I love this combination of floral. One of my all-time favorite floral notes is freesia. It's so underrated as far as florals. Freesia to me is one of the most beautiful, fresh, clean florals. It also has rose, jasmine, and violet. Tropical fruits, pineapple papaya. It has cedarwood and sandalwood as far as the woods. It has such a beautiful green tea note and amber note. One of my favorite things about this fragrance is the way it's blended. All these notes you get or I get from the very opening all the way to the end of the dry down. I get all the citruses. I even get the woods. Um, I get all the beautiful florals, the tropical fruits, the pineapple papaya, and the spices. It's linear, but I wouldn't change that for a million dollars. I think this I think this being a linear fragrance is what makes it so beautiful because you get all these notes throughout the life of the fragrance. It's blended that way. It's blended to where you get everything all the time, all the way through the life of the fragrance. Nothing stops. Most fragrances, you get citrus in the opening and the citruses will go away and um, it's replaced by floral and spices. And then in the dry down, the spices and florals are gone and then you get the woods. You get everything throughout the life of the fragrance. And another thing is nothing is above anything else. Nothing sticks out above anything else. It's blended so beautifully and well-rounded and so equal. You get nothing, you get all these equally. And I think that's another beautiful thing about this fragrance. Um, it's, just, it's just a beautiful fragrance. <clears throat> and this is not as popular as it was from 94 throughout the 90s. Um, and I think it's just because people wore it so much, people got burned out and they sort of moved on to other things. But I want, I want to sort of bring the hype back about this fragrance. And if you've never tried this fragrance, I really, really, really highly recommend that you at least try this fragrance. It's so beautiful. There's nothing negative about this fragrance that I could possibly think Everything is so well balanced and well blended and the quality is so beautiful. Um, I just love it. I really do. Um, the only criticism maybe that I would have is the atomizer, the sprayer could be a little bit better. And I wish they had, I wish they would make a cap to fit over this. It does have a cap, a screw on cap but you have to screw off the atomizer and then put on the cap i think that's sort of a pain in the butt but i think this just beautiful fragrance it's so nice to smell it's such a pleasant fragrance um but let me know if you have this and what you think about this and if you agree with me about my opinion or if you have a different opinion um Anyway, I love you guys, and um, I will put a link in the description of where you can get this. 
it's still available really it's really inexpensive retail 100 mil is 65 dollars like at sephora and calvin klein website is 65 dollars for 100 mil but i found this on a couple of websites for um i think 23 24 bucks for 100 mil you need to get this if you've never tried this and if you used to have this in your collection you need to get it back in your collection this is a 50 mil and as soon as this starts getting a little bit low, I'm going to get 100 mil because I will always have this in my collection. I really will. It's just the ultimate. It's like a, um, you ever heard of a dumb reach fragrance to where it's just like you, you don't want to think about a fragrance, but it, you want something that just smells good. I consider this like a niche dumb reach fragrance. That's the way I consider this. I think this is a lot of a lot better than a lot of the just general mass pleasing dumb reach fragrances. I think it's like a step above that. Anyway, I love you guys and I will talk to you later and peace.